and to New Zealand in 1983-84. New Zealand in Wellington, mm -hmm. Windy City, 5 for 95 and 138. And uh, if uh, the media were saying that your powers are on the wane, that might have been an answer as well. Yeah, but you never win with them, do you? <laughs> because if you have a bad match afterwards, then they're, they're off again. But no, I, that was a nice, uh, nice game. Um, it's, always, it's always nice to have a good all-round performance. And if you can come out of a game getting five wickets and innings and scoring 100, then you haven't had a bad game and you haven't let your side down. He's gone for the pull. He could be out. He is. He's caught by Nick Cook at mid-on. So the first New Zealand wicket is down with a total at 34. He's gone for the hook, and I think he'll be out caught behind. He is. And just having said that, with Edgar having defended, New Zealand's second wicket goes down at the with the total at 39, that of Bruce Edgar for nine. Botham to Jeff Howth again. And that's uh, caught at the gully. Howth repeating the shot that he'd played and missed prior to that. He got hold of this one and hit a catch into the gully area and very comfortably taken at tummy high. Uh, that's a sad blow for New Zealand. We'll see what Botham can do now. That's outside the off stump and he's caught brilliantly at second slip. Richard Hadley caught at second slip for 24. New Zealand lose their seventh wicket at 174. Oh, that looks as though that's out LBW. Yes, it certainly is. It uh, kept low on Smith and he played right back in, in front of middle stump and so the New Zealand innings draws to a close.